Hey everybody, it's Melissa, and I realized with the initial unboxing video I did of my narrow flat curb from Monet, the one I have around my neck, I was wearing this really bright red sweater, and I'm not really sure that it showcased this chain for as beautiful as it actually is. So now that I'm in a tank top, I just kind of wanted to give you maybe a better look in case you want a more up close visual of it. I did do a lot of YouTube shorts. You could just, you know, YouTube Melissa National flat curb on neck and then you'll see what this looks like outdoors if you want more of that close-up sort of look but I just kind of wanted to show you what it looks like right here with just me wearing a black tank top and this thing I actually did clean it for the first time I wear it in all of my showers as well I never take this off my neck but I did that trick where trick right I put some hot water and a little bit of dish soap in a cup and then I just left this chain in there for maybe 15, 20 minutes, and then I removed it, rinsed it, and then just kind of patted it dry. I didn't have a toothbrush and just, I didn't brush it out like that. I'm not really sure I personally want to do that or I'm as nitpicky to really go through every link and do that. Some people have complained of scratches with that and I could see how that could potentially happen. But for me, I've been satisfied just wearing it in the shower like how I did right before I started this video. Um, and honestly, it's just been looking better and better the more I've had it on. In fact, I thought that I've already had this for over a month, but I think it's not even been two weeks yet. I think it's been maybe like 12 days, 11 days, because I was looking at the date of the unboxing that I posted. And I was like, dang, it said it was posted 11 days ago. That's crazy. So I just wanted to show it here again. If you want to know the weight, it weighs 14.2 grams but you have to remember that the end clasps are 18 karat, so it's not solid 24. And I just wanna kinda of give you a little bit of my experience with daily wearing solid 24 karat jewelry in all occasions. So to me, this is a heavy use sort of chain, and I still get endless comments on all my social media platforms. Whenever 24 karat is brought up, even 22 karat, there's always that group of people that are very, you know, stickler, and they say, oh, you, you should never wear that. That's so bad to wear that. It's gonna break on you. It's gonna snap on you. Um, and then whenever I ask them, oh, is that what happened with your 24 karat chain? They're like, well, I've never worn high purity. So I was like, oh, where did you hear that from? They're like, all the jewelers say it. So it's kind of like a regurgitated thing. A lot of people say, so please be cautious when you're doing your research on it because a lot of the negative comments you'll see about it are typically coming from people that don't have experience actually wearing it. And for me, that was something I was super particular about before I pulled the trigger on solid 24 karat jewelry was, okay, if I'm gonna listen to people, I wanna listen to the people that actually wore it. And I wanted to find videos of people that were daily wearing it for years, you know? And just to kind of see how it held up. And as I was looking at all these videos, there was a very common theme of these are perfectly fine. And like these people have also worn lower purity, like 10, 14, 18 karat and 24 karat and they had nothing but love for the 24 karat. Now, I will say if you end up getting a bigger piece, right? I think Monet has just the regular flat curb, which is probably around maybe four millimeters. This here around my neck is 2.3 millimeters, but it's probably like four or five millimeters, something bigger like that. And if you were to have something that has a lot of that surface area, and if you have a pendant, you're gonna dangle a pendant on it, and the pendant's gonna be constantly moving like that, then I could see how it could scratch your chain. And then again, it just comes down to personal preference of if that's something that's really gonna bother you or not. Um, and I have tried putting my Monet medallions on here, like my Rising Phoenix, my St. Christopher, and they look great, it's fine, but I feel like this chain is a bit too thick for those medallions. Sometimes it would kind of get stuck on the piece instead of seamlessly just kind of rolling around. So to me, it's totally fine if you want to throw a pendant on it, but if you're particular about scratches, I would recommend you just wear the chain as is. And then just addressing of, you know, the softness of the piece, it really isn't that soft. I feel like when people say that it's soft, the expectation that they put in people's heads is, oh, if it drops, all of a sudden it's broken, or you could squeeze it in your hand and it's gonna mold into something else. And honestly, it's not even like that. I've done that with this piece. I've actually dropped this piece before and it still looks exactly the same 
As I've said in my previous videos so far, this is holding up exactly the same way my 14 karat gold was. And if you've tried 14 karat, then you know the durability of it. So I get the softness some people talk about. I think maybe that what they mean by that is it's more susceptible to scratches. Um, but it is by no way soft, like way too soft to wear, where like you're sleeping in it next to, you know, oh my gosh, my chain's a different shape. Like it ain't like that, you know? And you have to remember that back in the day, people were wearing like, you know, ancient civilization, they were wearing solid 24 karat gold as like rings and necklaces and bracelets and, you know, all those types of jewelry. And it held up pretty decently as well, you know? So again, please do your research on it. I hope that if you are looking for more videos, I have a lot of them here on my page. If you're active on Twitter, I mean, not Twitter, on TikTok and Instagram, I have a lot of videos there too, where I show you guys updates and how they look up close. So you can determine whether or not it's it's looking good or you know you want something maybe with that's a bit lower purity which is totally fine um but you also have to remember that it's on your neck like it's not getting banged up as much as you think even with me when i sleep i kind of rotate like a rotisserie chicken so i don't just stay in one position right like i'll start probably on my side then when i wake up in the morning like i'm on my back but i was i go on my left side i just keep turning like that right so like this necklace is just Oh, it's going through that with me the whole entire time. And it's been awesome. Like seriously, even me just looking at this piece from over there, when the light hits it, it's so nice, y'all. Like this piece is just so beautiful in the sunlight whatever, whenever I'm working out. And what's really nice is the fact that it's higher up on my neck, right? So there's a reason I decided to get the 16 inch. And it's like, you know, the summertime is rolling around and you're gonna be hitting up pools, beaches, jacuzzis, all that. You just kind of want to take off your shirt like real fast. And sometimes when you have a longer chain, like sometimes the chain kind of gets stuck when you're taking off your shirt. But when you have it closer up on your neck like this, and you're taking things and putting them on and taking them on and off, it doesn't bother you. You know, it just, it stays with you. And I like that. So for me, my chain journey, my gold journey, I should say, has been, it's been quite like, the roller coaster with it. So I started with a vermeil piece, which means it's sterling silver, and then it's plated in 14 karat gold. I got it from Jackson, right? So I was like, all right, you know what? Like, this is pretty nice. It was a Cuban link. I got the three millimeter first, but I was like, damn, this is way too small. So I got the five and that was perfect. And then I was like, you know what? I think I can bump it up to the seven because the five millimeter was 20 inches pretty long. So I got the seven millimeter at 18 inches because they didn't do a 16 inch option. So that thing was hanging until down here. And I was like, oh, this is so sweet. And the more I wore and the more I, I started getting into jewelry videos and I saw people talking about solid gold and I'm like, damn, that's what I want. Like I want solid gold. You know, I want something that I could just wear all the time. And by the way, with those Vermeer pieces, I was wearing them in and out like that thing all summer. I was just wearing it nonstop and I still love those chains. They're sentimental to me, but I no longer throw them on anymore just because I prefer the real deal. So I purchased a three millimeter rope chain from Jacoji, 16 inches, exactly the way that this one would lay right here. And I was blown away. I still have that video up and it was just so sparkly and shiny because remember until then I was just wearing these plated pieces that I would get, right? So that became my daily wear chain. Then, you know, I started, you know, I, I liked the Mariner that was four millimeters, so a little bit thicker. And then there was the, um, the Heavy Link, which is another four millimeter chain, but that's a beast. Like that four millimeter looks huge. Like that can be compared to a five millimeter rope, right? So I had that at 16 inches and it was nice, but then it came a point where I was like, you know what, I like the subtle classy pieces. I still love that heavy link, but it's not something that I'm like, that I wanna wear all the time, just because sometimes it would look out of place, right? I wanted to have something that even if I was wearing a t-shirt or if I was gonna get dressed up, there's still sort of like an elegance to it and still something that even when I'm dressed down, it still looked fine. So I was looking online, came across something called like the Connell chain, right? From this show that was popular in 2020. And it was like that flat curb design. And I was like, oh yeah, flat curbs. And I, I had a flat curb from Hawaii Rope Chains. That thing is super fire, it was 14 karat. And I definitely wanted to move higher up in purity. And 
to me, I didn't want it to be three millimeters. I wanted it to be less than three millimeters, but still bigger than 1.7. Because at this time I was rocking like the 1.7 millimeter 22 karat Franco from Hawaii Rope Chains. And it was super nice. And then it would hang a bit here because I had that pendant that would drop about like right here. Right. So I was like, you know what? I just want like a thin chain that still has like its presence, you know? So when I saw this on Monet's website, I was like, oh, this is the one. This is hands down the piece I want. And y'all, I was looking for so many videos on this chain but I could only find two. And the like one of them, the guy kind of threw it on and wore it, but it wasn't like an in-depth video. I didn't really get to see what it looked like up close. It was just a couple seconds. And the other guy just had this as a bracelet. And I was like, dang, I want to see it on somebody's neck. And I just want to like, I want the video to it just be on their neck the whole time. So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm going to back up more so you guys can sort of kind of see it. And from that distance, it's you might not be able to make out exactly the design of the piece, but that doesn't really bother me. I think I'm past that point now where I want people to know exactly what type of chain it is or how different it is, because it's just like, it's so clean. And even though it's only been maybe less than a couple weeks with me having this piece on, I've gotten so many compliments when I go out and when I'm with people, even people that see it that know me are like, wow, that's so nice. I really like that. So it's definitely already gotten a lot of love. And online, these pieces, like the, the Monet pieces, they look great on camera, right? But they look so much better in person. There's just something about seeing that 24 karat in your hands. And when people actually see it in real life, they're blown away with it because it's really not common here in the United States at all. Like I've said so many times, 14 karat seems to be somewhat of the standard. People like to wear 10 karat. There's a select few that wear 18, but there's just like a hair, like a small percentage of people, a tiny percentage of people that go above 18 karat. And when people see it in real life, they're just like, wow, that's so nice. They're like, where, like, where did you get that? So it's, and it doesn't look plated, by the way. I think that if you were to look at these chains online and compare it with a plated piece, you might think, okay, I could see somewhat of a resemblance to it. But when you see this in person, and if I were to hold up to you my plated 18 karat, well, it's, only, it's 18 karat, so it's not really the same, but a plated 18 karat rope chain that I had, you'd be able to tell, okay, that's a plated piece. And that one is, you know, a real piece. So it's just so beautiful. And, you know, on top of that, this thing, especially this summer, like it's going to be worn everywhere. And all my all my chains, whenever I have on like my jewelry, I want it to be able I want to be able to wear it in all sort of seasons. You know, even when it's cold outside, when it's hot, it doesn't matter. I just want to be able to throw it on and just you know feel good about it. So, to me, I'm not worried about being at the beach and the waves hitting this. And oh my God, where did my necklace go? But I think the only worry I have with this piece, and you can watch this in my previous video where I did the whole breakdown of this chain is the fact that the clasp itself, it is 18 karat, but it attaches to a very like thin oval shaped piece of gold. It's like really thin. And I feel like that's probably just the weakest part of the chain. If I wanted to get that swapped out, I could, but I like the lobster clasp that this has going on, but that would be my only complaint with this chain. It's just how tiny that oval piece is. You know, other than that, I just have nothing but love for this right here. Um, and again, if you want to check out the videos of this on neck, you could see it. And in the comment section below, I'll put a discount code or my referral code for Monet in case you guys want to like sign up because in order for you to purchase something, you have to sign up for their website and then why not just get like $5 off your purchase? You know, it's, if you're going to buy gold, might as well save some money on it. So I'll put my referral code on there. Um, and that'd be, if you guys want to sign up, you can. If you don't, that's totally fine. And I'm also have a question for the people that already have the, uh, like, let's say you get your gold from like Asian sellers, right? From, from abroad, from overseas, because there are people that have told me that you should go try to buy your gold from Thailand. Um, I want to know kind of how that is. I've never really tried that, but I'm sure that the premiums are set so much better and you're probably saving more money on that. So I'd be interested to see what that process is like. But honestly, y'all, I, 
I don't really see myself in the future, at, at least for right now, in these next few months, getting a new necklace, like, like, you know, buying something new right now because I'm really satisfied with how this is and just how simple it is. And I think that's all I have to say about it, all right? So beautiful piece for all of you looking at that narrow flat curve. I hope this video did it justice. You could see it on neck and I do like it higher up. And again, 2.3 millimeters wide. So know that it's definitely gonna look smaller in person. If you've never held um, a gold chain in your hands, you're probably gonna think on video, it looks bigger. Just think to yourself, this is going to be tiny. It's gonna be thin. But I will say that the thickness on this piece blew me away because in terms of how flat curves go, flat curves are typically like paper thin. We're talking like paper thin, right? Like really, really paper thin. But this has some weight to it. And there's a little bit of thickness. As I said in my previous video, it's kind of like the baby curve. It's like a combination of a Miami Cuban and a flat curve. Like it has like that, like a little bit of the thickness of the Cuban um, with that flat curve. And just like how the baby curve is. So if you don't know what the baby curve is, you can look it up online. But again, I hope this video was helpful. The referral discount code in the comment section below, I'll pin it. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye.